it's Sydney and you're watching my fall trend guide. So we've been going over the hottest trends of the season, showing easy ways to wear them at home. And today I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite prints, Leopard. are big this season and leopard is my favorite way to do the trend and it doesn't have to be loud and in your face so I'm going to show you some ways that are really sophisticated that you can wear leopard and show you different ways to do it depending on your lifestyle. So I want to start with the leopard shirt. A leopard button down blouse is such a simple staple to have in your closet because you can wear it so many different ways. So for our first look I want to show something a very sleek, very streamlined. I just tucked the blouse into a pair of coated skinny jeans so it has a leather look, kind of like the leather leggings episode. And then I nodded to the animal print trend with this fun animal belt and then just did a pointy pump to lengthen my legs. You can also make a leopard blouse more casual. Here I did it by mixing prints. The trick to mixing prints with ease is sticking to neutrals. So I did a black and white striped sweater over the leopard blouse, kept on the same jeans and swapped out my pumps for a bright red sneaker. Another way I like wearing the trend is with a leopard sweater. Here I went for a very girly look. I paired a sleeveless turtleneck sweater under the sweater, so I doubled up on my sweaters. Then I just did a flirty skirt and my knee-high boots. You could also add some tights if it's colder where you live. And for my second look, I want to show how you could do it more cool girl style. So I did some distressed jeans, pointy pumps, and then slipped on a leather jacket on top. If all over animal prints is too bold of a statement for you, you can just do some accessories to pump up your look. So to illustrate this, I started with a basic black dress. Everyone has an LVD. So there's lots of ways you can do it. One is with a leopard scarf, or you can use a leopard handbag, or you could even do a leopard pair of booties. So those are just a few ways you can wear leopard and make it work for everyday life. If you want more of a statement, you can try a leopard coat. So if you head over to my blog tomorrow, I'll be showing you how I wore this leopard coat when I was in Paris. Crazy, right? Um, so if you have any questions at all, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'm always here to help. I love you guys. And I want to see how you are wearing your leopard at home. So throughout the series, we use the hashtag SS Trend Guide and you just upload your photo to Instagram. I've been posting my favorite favorite trend girl of the week over on my Facebook page and weekly newsletter. And you can follow me at Sydney Summer for behind the scenes of my crazy, crazy life. And as always, if you don't already, make sure to subscribe because there's a new episode every Thursday.